I hit something on my keyboard. Now I'm stuck at 15 kilometers per hour. No, I was I was racetracking this thing. I was Mario and Dreddy. Hello, everybody, Great Soul Blades, and we're back with more of the greatest money growing simulator ever made. It's Farmer's Dynasty. That's right, other people may see wheat and barley, but you know what? It's called hard cash. Over here in the new vehicle area, I am sad. I want to buy this. Uh, I have the money for it, but the problem is it doesn't seem to want to hook up to this, which is odd because other people on the forums had mentioned that it can hook up to this. It just doesn't want to right now. I don't know if it's due to an update or something like that, but it's all right. I'll cry myself to sleep later. This is what I want next. Right over here. 18,000 euros. It carries 11,000 kilograms of grain. We're going to want that, but I don't have the money because I spent it. Over here to our craftastic freaking, uh, I can't even call this thing really. A, it, it's like someone had mentioned that this is from like the 30s. They said, they said it was a basically a knockoff of a John Deere from 1930 and it belongs in a museum. It's got like a 25 horsepower engine on it or something. It's supposed to be like way underpowered compared to everything that we're doing. I spent some money to buy the better plow. Was it a good choice? Eh, I don't know. It's debatable. It was quite a bit of money. It's 25% faster than the other plow because it's got like one extra plowy goo on it. But, um, I will say that someone in the comment section mentioned that, uh, the bales of hay or straw, yes, I know, are akin to the magnetite in Gold Rush. They are. It's exactly the same. I made so much money off of the hay bales. I made more money off of the hay than I did off of the actual grains that we got from our giant wheat field. I made 14, well, it was actually 14.5. 14.5 thousand euros just in the hay bales so that other trailer that we just saw was the next level up in hay bale trailers it allows you to carry I think like 39 bales of hay so that would basically double our efficiency and then the grain trailer uh, carries a little bit more than two and a half times as much grain so we're definitely gonna want that but we're gonna need to make some money no big deal though because today is the day Today is the day that we are going to sow some fields for, for courage and honor and all that. Now, the one thing I can say about the plow is it makes me less sad. And the reason why is because the plowing in this game is the thing I hate the absolute most. Like, if you could see our buddy Romeo over here with, like, a perpetual frown on his face driving around on his 1930s John Deere, that would be me when I'm plowing. Because I hate it with a burning passion, desperately. People had mentioned that uh, manure and fertilizer on your crops will get you an extra 25% yield. But what's been found out, makes me sad, is that they have to be used together. People tested them out singularly and they didn't notice any difference. This is the new plow, baby. Look at this beast. That's what I'm talking about. You get one extra plow. So it's 25% better. I believe. I don't know. I, I I haven't measured the old plow and the new plow together side by side. You can also flip it. It goes from one side to the other if you want to do that sort of thing. We got our cedar over here. First thing we need to do, though, is cultivate our field. It It's definitely fast, though. I plowed that entire field in probably like six minutes. And trust me, I had to do a mission plowing before, uh, before I started recording. And it made me want to eat a friggin' frisbee. It was horrible. Now, from what I understand, if you guys want to be very, very efficient with your money, people have said that the cultivator is just, it's really not worth getting. Um, they basically have mentioned that the crappy cultivator and the new cultivator, there's almost no difference. So I'm going to keep the crappy cultivator for probably a while. The very, you guys had said, I put a poll up in the last video. You guys said that the first thing that we should buy is whatever makes us more stacks. So the very first thing I'm going to buy is the new grain trailer. Well, technically it was the plow. And that was because the less time I spend plowing, the, the more I won't want to drive this tractor over my own head or something like that. So I want to get the plowing down as quickly as possible. Oh, wow. This thing takes a while to go down. Hold on. But after that, I want to go ahead and I definitely want to buy... The grain trailer. Now check this out. 
you can use cruise control, but if you hold down, you actually go a little bit faster. Like, it's it's not really, like, super tangible, but it's an extra 10% speed or so. We're going 14 and 15 instead of 12. So, I prefer to just give my finger a workout and hold it down. Oh, yeah, we're cultivating up a storm over here, baby. So sweet. So delicious. Right at about 75% right now. There's a couple of different ways that you can cultivate. Like, if you just want to... I don't... I mean... I, I doubt I'm doing this the correct farmy pattern kind of way, but I'm just kind of... The, the one thing I noticed about the cultivator is that the turning radius on this is way better than every other implement. Like, if you do... If you do plowing, your turning radius is garbage. It is nowhere near how good you can normally turn. But with the cultivator, it's right about the same. Now... The cultivator kind of enjoys throwing my freaking tractor around, probably because it's, you know, 1930s and running on a running on a, a an engine that belongs in some 11-year-old kid's freaking go-kart. But for the most part, if you time your pickup and put down, you can go from side to side very quickly without really wasting a lot of time. So you can see we're already at 85% cultivated. Now what? You don't have to get a hundred, mind you. Like, the only thing that not getting a hundred does is the one percent that you miss, I think, has a yield that's like one-fourth of the the full yield. So you'll miss out on three-fourths of that one percent. So I, I don't even know if that's like tang if I should tangibly care about that. I really don't. In fact, even when we bought the other the other uh fields. It was at like 99 point something percent, I think. Probably because I ran over some of it. But a lot of times, I don't think anyone ever really gets 100%. All right, you boys ready? Here we go. Right down the middle. <laughs> it's going to be a little bit open here. 94. Come on. 95. Yeah. 96. I think we're going to get like 98, probably. Come on. 97. All right. Now, there's a couple little chunks over here that I missed. So, I'm going to go ahead and hit them real quick. See if we get 98% real fast. All right, boys. 98%. Good enough for me. Like I said, fertilizer and manure, it looks like they have to be used together. I don't know if that's going to get changed. The, the developers are updating this thing all the time, which I'm super happy to see them do. Um, let's go ahead and put this down because we're going to have to grab our cedar. I've never used the cedar. Never had to use it in any of the missions or anything like that. Don't know how it works. I've got it filled up. If you need to fill your cedar up, you got to put it in that shed that you can barely see over there in the right-hand side of the screen with the with the liquid manure thingy hanging around in there. You can fill it up in there. A little uh, enter thing comes up on the screen that allows you to do it. All right. So here we are. Got my seeds inside. Now, when I'm on the field, what happens over here? Does it spew out delicious seeds on its own? It kind of looks like it does. That they, oh, yeah. Right over here. Barley shooting into the ground. We are injecting barley big time. Now, can you go full steam on this? Or do you have to slow down, I wonder? Hold on. Let's cruise control. Oh, you can cruise control seed at 23 miles an hour. Or 23 kilometers per hour. Let's freaking do this, boys. Oh, my God. My favorite thing is seeding. Oh, this is amazing. I know someone's going to be like, that's what he said. But it is. <laughs> like, this is the easiest thing to do. You can do it at full speed. Basically, I'm just doing little circular patterns. Again, this is probably not, you know, the legitimate farm way to do this. But it's what I'm doing over here. Hey, what's going on? What happened What happened to my... How come, how come I'm stuck at like 15 miles an hour? Hold on, let me drop this off. Pull this back up. Come on, no 15 mile an hour crap. What's going on over here? Look at this. Something happened. All my all my speed and agility is gone. I was killing it before at 23. I hit something on my keyboard. Now I'm stuck at 15 kilometers per hour. No. I was I was racetracking this thing. I was Mario and Dreddy of the seeding world. And now I'm back to average. Oh, by the way, while the new uh the new tractor does cost an arm and a leg, I think it's 90,000 euros without any kind of discount. Uh, I understand it goes 37 kilometers per hour. So it's 50, it's over 50% faster than our current craptastic tra uh, tractor. So it's definitely well worth it. Oh, I figured it out. Oh, I figured out how to use turbo boost. I don't know if this is ruining anything. I mean, it looks like everything's totally fine. 
But you know how you use the uh, the T button to lift things, or is it R? Hold on, it's R. Normally, you use the R button to lift things up and down. Well, there's no lifting for the cedar. Oh, this is gonna get patched. But if you do it, can you go backwards too? Oh, you kind of can. If you lift it up, you know, air quotes using the R button, you get to go your full 23 kilometers per hour while you seed. Oh, this is so much better. All right, boom. Barley is planted right over there. Fresh planted. Now, we do have the other field over here that we can start planting as well. I think there's no reason for us not to. Let's go ahead and do both these fields. In fact, I'm going to get the opportunity to show you. I don't know why I'm going this way. I'm going to get the opportunity to show you the brand new freaking plow. Wait until you see this thing. Don't want to get stuck on a twig over there. Brand new plow. Where did I put it on? Oh, it's over here. Now, some people have mentioned on the forums that this plow is so big that it kind of throws them all over the place. I haven't had that many problems. Oh, mother of God. I haven't had that many problems with it. All right. Y'all ready for this? You ready to see the greatest, the greatest plowing you ever did see with old gray over here? Now, it definitely pulls you, I will say. Like, I could feel the tractor getting yanked to the left-hand side of the screen. I don't think that that's a bad thing. It kind of keeps you, kind of keeps you, you know, your, your hand on the, your hand on the wheel here. So you can't, you can't autopilot this. You got to be freaking ready. All right, man, all plowed. Looking pretty good. Burn it through some fuel pretty quick. I will say that. Now remember, the plowing's the hard part. Well, it's the pain in the ass part. The other part over here, the cultivating, not so bad, I feel. Let's go ahead and drop this down. Pull it on off. There we go. Now, at some point, I think our um I think our greenhouse should be ready to go too. I'm not sure. I think it I think it said it takes three weeks, 21 days. But it should be pretty soon. Let's go ahead and hook this up and get her done. All right, we're fresh cultivated, 99% all around. Pretty happy about that. We do have to seed this over here. Actually, I'm gonna get the opportunity to show you guys how the seedy thing works while we're at it. Let's go ahead and park this over here by the hay bale squarer thing. Go ahead and drop her on down, unload it on off. Gotta go over here to your craptastic seeder, which is accompanied by the most heinous quest a man could ever undergo which is where you have to plow like a two and a half acre freaking field. It's horrifying. We're gonna go ahead and grab this. Now we're just gonna kind of shuck our way in here real smooth, right? Like, there we go. Now you load up the magazine, you pick what you want. You start with wheat, but I went ahead and bought myself a whole bunch of barley. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna fill the cedar with it. You can also uh, put fertilizer in your fertilizer from here, but again, it doesn't look like fertilizer does anything unless you also have the manure. And the only way to get manure is to have a bunch of cows, which we will have. It starts you off with a thousand manure. We do have some manure just laying inside of our slurry, but it's not enough to get even one of these, one of these uh, fields. Late at night, Gray's still using the freaking turbo powered cedar over here. I'm gonna tell you, man, this cedar has the NOS in it or whatever. It is, it is wicked fast. I freaking love it. Like I said, I, I doubt that's the way, I doubt that this is the way the game is supposed to work with the cedar, but I'm gonna take advantage of it. I can't imagine having the other uh, tractor right now and going like 37 kilometers per hour with the cedar attached. It, that's probably a little bit too fast. Like, I don't know if I could take these corners at that speed and still hope to seed everything at about 82 percent over here a couple more passes and we're gonna be set to go it is so dark though that it's hard to see exactly what i have and have not seeded all right there we go boys all in the day's work all in the day's work let's go ahead and take that off put that over here get on off gonna go grab a quick sleep real quick well, actually you know what just to kind of see what happens Maybe we'll go through the season, because I think you can sleep for a week at a time. Now, normally, what you'd want to do is you'd want to load every single day, because I believe if you sleep for a week at a time, you don't get, like, all the eggs for the week. You only get the eggs for one night's sleep, which kind of sucks. Oh, check this out! I decide to wake up real quick, huh? And all of our tomatoes are full-grown. 
That's what I'm talking about. We can go ahead and sell these, sell these if we want to. As a matter of fact, we're probably going to want to put more seedlings in. This way when we go, because I think if you get to September, you sleep right through the season, and then you wake up in like April or something. There we go. How many tomatoes? 762 tomatoes. Now, as I understand it, the best things to grow are zucchini. That's, uh, if you're looking for maximum money, you want to grow zucchini. Why is there like a random keg over here on the ground? There's like a, like a random kegger laying around. Oh, I saw something really weird too. In, uh, in the loading screen, it said be on the lookout for chests surrounding the world because they may have items and stuff. What is this? Like freaking Skyrim? Let's go see if we can sell over here. Yes, I would like to, uh, Care to trade? I would like to trade, my good man. Sure. What do you need? Well, I don't need anything, but I have a whole slew of friggin' tomatoes. How much you buying them for? All right, so we made like 600 and some odd over here. Yeah, you can see the zucchini is worth a lot more. So if we click on this, now can I sell them all? Oh, well, hold on. Let's, let's, yeah, let's go ahead and sell all those. Eh, 579 euros. It's not bad. It got us a little extra money. Um, it's definitely worth more than the eggs, I'm gonna tell you that. Alright, I got a whole bunch of zucchini seedlings over here. Let's go ahead and throw them all down. Right like this. I keep forgetting, you can just hold down on the left click instead of tapping it over and over again. There we go. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, we got- there we go. Now we got zucchinis for days. Okay. Let's go to sleep one more week and see what happens when we wake up if all of our crops are done and it's a new season. Alright, it's a brand new day and it's April 1st. Let's go check out the freaking crops over here. Oh, I can see the golden grain in the distance. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Barley for days, boys. Golden grains. Gonna be worth a ton of money. Oh, while we're at it, too. Our zucchini's been sitting in here forever. Did it all die? Probably all died. I don't even remember. I think either it all died or I never replanted it. I'm not actually sure. It's totally- I think it all died. Because we probably- it probably sat there for way too long. It's not a huge deal. A lot of this is just testing anyway. So I'm gonna go ahead and replant these because remember, you only get three weeks, but now we're in April. So we're gonna have time to probably plant a whole bunch of crops and now these crops are going to be different than any of the other crops that we've ever had before because this is pure profit well you know except for the cost of of the grain uh or rather the seeds and the seeds are not very expensive i think i paid like 450 euros for like 450 kilograms of seeds hold on let's let's try something real quick i gotta know over to the harvester Go ahead and attach the grain, the graininator over here. Back it on up. Move it on out. Oh, yeah. Oh, I gotta know. Oh, it's so beautiful. It's so glorious. All right, ready, boys? You ready? Lower it down. Turn it on. We're not gonna do this all, but I just wanna know. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's the stuff right there. All this barley is coming home to us, baby. And it's gonna be worth big money. And then on top of that, I'm pretty sure, oh yeah, I can already see it happening. The barley allows you to get hay as well. So we're gonna get big money from the barley over at the windmill, like 701 per, uh, per uh, a ton, I think it is. And then on top of that, we're gonna be selling all of the all the hay as well or straw and it's gonna be I mean it's just gonna be insane we're gonna be getting oh hold on we're gonna be getting an incredible amount of cash for these two fields over here and I think this season we're gonna plant all of our fields we're gonna plant these two fields and remember we own one field that's like two and a half times the size of these two fields just drop it off some grain boys just dropping off some grain. Oh, we're going to fill this up big time. Guys, hope you're enjoying Farmer's Dynasty. We're about to make that cash. And then, finally, we can start buying the even newer items. I want that trailer first. We're probably going to bale all this hay. I'm going to leave all the grain in the silo for right now that we get. And when we bale the hay, I think we're going to get enough, probably, 
to buy the uh, the trailer and with that trailer we're gonna be able to fit well, maybe not all the grain, but most of the grain in one shot, and it's going to be pay time. Until the next time, folks, stay foxy and much love.